Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favorite and I definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time coming to my channel, much love to you and welcome and to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family. Just thank you so much for the peace and love that you give me along with other people and just helping out and just being positive and being your just beautiful self. And with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, what are you waiting for? Like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell, especially when you want to know when I'm about to upload my next video. And if you are, you know, you are not positive enough, comfortable enough. <laughs> if you're comfortable enough, please go ahead and drop me a line or two. I would love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Even if it's about the positive feedback of the video or you're just up telling me about your impact to give and how it impacted your life and heading you towards a positive direction. And if you feel like the video has been very informative to you or just gave you good vibes and good information that you would love to share with a family family member or friend, please go ahead and do so. And while you're at it, give me a you know thumbs up, like, and even share on your social media favorites wherever you see fit. And once again, thank you so much for stopping by my channel and showing me love and support. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. And today my video is about Twin Flame 101. Oh, I'm sorry. My um meditation music. Let me turn it up because I can't really hear it. Um, music to heal the body, the mind, and the soul while you sleep. And I will post that link in the description box below. And today my video is about Twin Flame 101. Remember, choice is the only uh change is the only is our only choice. Uh, let me see. Remember, change is our only choice. I don't know why I got set up here and tongue tied. My bad, y'all. Change is our only choice. You know, you. I know some people don't like change. I didn't even really like change, you know, because it just seemed so difficult. And it was just like, you know, I always stayed in the house. I, you know, it's just like if I, you know, if I had to leave the house, it would be like taking care of business or just doing what I have to do on a daily basis. And then other than that, I stay home. But it's just like now I'm being more outgoing and doing what I need to do and, you know, getting out in nature. You know, I might not be around a lot of people, but that's fine. Um, I mean, it's just like the fact is whatever God brings towards me, I'm, I'm okay with that. So it's just like day by day basis. So it's just like, um, you know, you have to be able to do change. It's just like, you know, it's just not for the beginning of the year you know we always say you know new year new me or whatever but you have any time to change that whenever you want to but it's just like you don't want to stay the same you don't want to still do the same things you've been doing last year or the year before or the year before that or you know still doing the same negative things or just doing the same you know going around in that negative pattern because something has to give something has to change for you you know it's just like you know i can see so many people that are so negative um and it could be so draining because it's just like there's times i don't sit up here and try to bring positive light to their, your life and you know just tell them to love yourself and you know count your blessings you know and some people get mad at me when i say you, you need to love yourself you know i didn't love myself for a long time it took me a long time to do that because i was putting myself in situations that if you know you love yourself you wouldn't be dealing with stuff like that you wouldn't just take whatever is whatever and you know and i had to just look at life and you're like why is things happening where they're happening you you have to be able to accept change knowing that things you can either change them for the better or they can just stick around and be worse, you know. And it's just like it, you have to be able to push that positivity in your life. You have to, you know, there's times, you know, things have happened and I'm trying to, you know, there's so many times people have been close to me. And I said, I push out so much positivity, but yet I keep on getting negative impacts back or, you know, or if I'm dating somebody, it's around the, the same negative pattern or it's just like the friends I was keeping it was the same BS and it was just like when you you have to do the thing if you want positivity in your life you have to be able to track that you have to be able to have a positive mind frame or you know being able to accept that you okay this is my past or these things happen to me but they're not happening to me anymore and if they are you know cut the cords towards those things you know if these you know sometimes it's hard to do that especially when it comes to family but you have to do that sometimes especially if you know they're negative 
or you know there's things that's going on if they they can't see the change in you you know they constantly want to bring up your past you don't need anybody who's going to constantly you know remind you of the things that you're trying to get away from like my past is not me you know i tell people all the time you know these things have happened to me these are things decisions i put myself in but i try to give people that you know, not just to say, woe is me, look at me like a billboard on talking about these things happen to me. You know, people aren't going to care about that because they got all, all their own things going through themselves. You know, they're trying to work out things or whatever. But, you know, even though we take it to heart when people go through things, especially with us being empaths, that's an automatic reaction. You know, we take on a lot of things we should not take on, but we do anyway. And it can be really harm harmful and detrimental to us. So it's just like when I can do that... It, now it's like when I'm, I'm having like I'm not dating anybody or whatever but it's just like you know if I want to do that I know that oh gosh I'm sorry y'all the, the bright lights coming through it's looking crazy but coming through all that and dealing with that I don't have that negative pattern when when it comes to people or um, let me pause this y'all so I can go ahead and get that sun out the way that looks really crazy Sorry, y'all didn't know where that bright light's coming from because it's not coming from the uh, curtain. Uh, you know, I'm mean? back in my room. If y'all know, y'all been with me for a while, y'all know crazy stuff pops off in my room. So, you know, I don't know if it's just the, the extra light that's coming in. But, I mean, the sun's not bright, shining bright like that outside. But yet it got really bright, and you know, in my, my camera. And I'm trying to get that off. Okay, that looks a little bit better. But, you know, we go through different things. And I, I'm glad and blessed that I'm not um gravitating or having people come towards me that that has this negative situation that's going on even though i see it a lot that you know i associate with people like that but i try to bring things to a positive perspective for them you know um don't be bitter towards the things that's happening in life because i know i was like that at one time like okay i don't want to be dealing with other people anymore because there's so many things that have happened to me back to back to back and time i stuck my neck out to be you know friendly towards people helping them out and then i end up getting jabbed in the back long run but it's just like you know people come into your life um for like a season or people come into your life for lifetime expectations or people come into your life to hurt you use you you know love you take care of you and all those things you have to be appreciated of all those things you experience because one way or another is it has helped you learn a lot of things and if you are going through that situation where you know you're looking for a person a significant other you have to have that positive affirmation like okay you know I love myself um, I love everything about me you know I'm changing the things that I don't feel is adequate in my life you know I'm making that change you know we can sit up here and complain about everything about our life like you know I don't like this I don't like that you know you have that power to change it you know just like you can be thinking about negative things and I know that can be you know it can get annoying because I've been in that situation before but then you can convert it into something positive you know get your yourself out that negative you know thought pattern you know, things are, you know, going to get better for you. You have to really see it. You have to see the signs that, you know, universe is sending you every time to let you know things are getting better. You know, I always look at the numbers I'm synchronizing with and just see all the things that are going on in my life. You know, look at the forewarnings, look at the omens. You know, omens are not always something negative. I don't feel like it's like that. But then I see all the things that are happening to me to let me know that things are changing. I don't know exactly what kind of route is changing to, but I know it's bringing me something better in my life. You know, I'm getting more comfortable with doing what I do. I love making videos. I make, love to help out people, help them find out the characteristics about themselves. You know, that there's a lot of things that, you know, it takes some time to get used to, to know that you're like, you know, especially when you start reading up on certain things and I'm like, hey, you know, here's a link to this, you know, and this is the things you're going through, you know, and it's a good thing when you can actually start putting labels on the things that you're going through. Like, oh, okay, I'm this, you know, I'm clairvoyant, I'm a medium. Um, I'm an alchemist, you know, all these different things that we do, and we're all alchemists in our own way, you know, if there's things you want to change in your life, you can meditate on it, you can work towards that situation and get there, you know, nobody, you know, no, I, well, if you blessed to have overnight success like that, more power to you, and I hope, you know, things go for people like that, I love that when I see other people like that, but then you can't judge people off of their, their journey because of 
you know, you're going towards things like that, but you have to know that things, you're making that positive effort to make things change for you. You know, if you want better things in your life, you have to be willing to work for it and change your outlook and change the way you do things just to get those things. So I hope you are able to resonate with the content of my video. Much love to y'all. Love y'all so much. You know, keep being you. You know, if there's things you want to change about yourself, work hard for them. And I guarantee you, things will start looking up for you. If, even if they're, you know, you got to pay attention to the signs because good things happen every day. So I'm sending out much love and light and positivity towards everybody like and subscribe give me a thumbs up share if you need to share share please on any social media wherever you see fit drop me a line or two i would love to get to know you as much as you get to know me even if it's about the positive feedback the content of my video or you're just up telling me about your empathic gift and let me know you got the notification on so i can go ahead and give you a shout out my next video and um my my post notification goes to worse nero much love to you and blessings along your way. And I hope you're doing blessed and safe as well. So I will see y'all in my next video. Know that you are truly blessed, forever loved, and highly favored. And knowing there's always somebody out there praying for your better days. So much love to you. Peace. And be wild.